The majestic creature you see behind me is the greater sage grouse. This big, beautiful bird is an iconic prairie species, best known for its unique mating display. Every spring, the males gather together in groups called leks and strut their stuff for the females. They dance, puff themselves up, and pop the air sacs on their chest, producing a sound that can travel up to three kilometers and call to potential mates. But mates are getting harder to find. Scientists believe that before European settlement, grouse used to number in the millions. Today, less than 400 can be found in Canada. Several factors have contributed to the grouse's decline, but habitat loss, degradation, and fragmentation are the most significant and ongoing threats to this species. In Canada, human development, such as agriculture and oil and gas activities, have reduced sage grouse habitat by 94%, from 100,000 to a mere 6,000 square kilometers. And this has not gone unnoticed by the sage grouse. They're very sensitive to changes in their environment, specifically to changes in the amount and quality of sagebrush on the landscape. This woody shrub is all that sage grouse will eat from late fall to early spring. It provides cover from predators, and it where, it's where the hens will nest and raise their chicks. Sage grouse cannot survive without sagebrush, and the formula is simple. When sagebrush declines, sage grouse decline. But the obvious solution, increasing the amount and quality of sagebrush on the landscape, has been difficult to achieve. Current restoration methods have very low success rates with sagebrush, but to ensure the grouse's survival, quick and effective restoration methods are necessary. So I'm conducting greenhouse and field studies to develop innovative methods to improve the um, establishment, growth, and survival of sagebrush. By altering the amount of nutrients we deliver to individuals in the greenhouse, we can better prepare them to survive after planting. Additionally, by wrapping seeds in a protective pod of soil and nutrients, we can prevent them from drying out after seeding and increase their establishment. The sage grouse has been called the most important conservation story of our generation because it's about a lot more than the protection of one beautiful bird. It's about the conservation of an entire ecosystem. Temperate grasslands are one of the most imperiled ecosystems on the planet, and as the grouse disappear, so too could everything else associated with this landscape. Over the duration of my PhD, 75 hectares of sagebrush habitat will be restored, and my research will provide best management practices for future and ongoing sagebrush restoration across the North American prairies. Our efforts to restore sagebrush will not only benefit the sage grouse, but hundreds of other species at risk and the prairie ecosystem as a whole. Thank you. <laughs>